People choose particular cars for all sorts of reasons, but the basic reason is always this. A car allows you to do something you want to do, whether it be to go to work and earn a living, or meet with friends and enjoy yourself. A car is a means of travel, a method of communication, an expression of your personality and taste, and a measure of your good sense. That's why so many people choose Gemini SL. No car has a prouder reputation for reliability and durability. It takes you where you want to go with no fuss. You meet friends on time. But there's more to it than that. Gemini is economical. It only needs service every six months or 10,000 kilometers. It has a magnificent record for reliability, so your repair bills should be minimal. And in terms of week-to-week -week operation, it is miserly on fuel. And when you do have to top the tank, the SL runs on standard grade petrol, so you save money again and have more left over for doing the things you enjoy. So let's look at the features of the Gemini SL sedan. The grille is molded from polycarbonate. It's strong, corrosion resistant, and the slats are shaped to provide the best airflow to the engine compartment. The quartz halogen headlamps have flush mounted lenses. Quartz halogen gives a brighter light and the sloped glass gives better airflow over the nose. That reduces drag, which in turn lessens noise and improves fuel economy. Here's a nice touch. The turn indicators are angled, so they can be seen by the drivers of vehicles alongside you. The front bumper is a molded one-piece polypropylene design, highlighted by a chrome trim strip. It has a number of advantages over the old-fashioned chrome-plated steel bumper. It is much lighter, which helps handling and fuel consumption and it resists low speed impacts more effectively than a metal bumper so it won't become scarred and tatty looking if other cars nudge you in the parking lot and of course it can't rust. Tucked out of harm's way are the side lamps and the forward turn indicators and see how the bumper wraps round to protect the corners of the body. This wheel cover design is exclusive to the SL model. The radio has a secure lockdown antenna and these full-length body side mouldings protect the paintwork from minor chips and scrapes as when doors of adjoining cars are opened carelessly. The lift-up handles are flush with the body and easy to operate. At the back, the big protective bumper is of the same strong but light polypropylene. The tail lamps are divided into these segments, reversing light, brake indicator, reflector, tail lamp and turn signal. Note how the tail light and brake light are separate so they can be clearly distinguished from each other. The rear window has a demister. The boot is deep and shaped to hold plenty of luggage. This hatch conceals the lockable fuel cap. Being placed so high, the filler doesn't spill fuel when you have a full tank. And it is easy to fill the tank quickly and with no fuss. The tank capacity is 52 litres, which is more than most cars in its class. That gives you a longer range between refills, the driver's side view mirror has a sports type hood which is colour matched to the body finish. The four doors open wide giving easy access to the interior. Tall people fit comfortably in this car. There's generous head and leg room front and back. Sit in the driver's seat and you have a clear view of the road through the wide sweep of the safety glass windscreen. The front bucket seats are contoured and can be moved or tilted through a wide range of positions. They feature adjustable headrests. And here's a Holden exclusive, low fog vinyl. You know how some cars always seem to have a foggy substance on the inside of the cabin glass? Well, that comes from the vinyl upholstery. GMH engineers helped develop a new type of low fog vinyl that doesn't emit the same quantity of vapor as other vinyls. It has a pleasant, soft feel. The retractable seat belts are lightweight, comfortable, and easy to buckle. The centre mirror is a prismatic day or night design for glare-free nighttime driving. The loop pile carpet is a hard-wearing synthetic. The steering wheel is comfortable to grip and its open design provides the driver with a clear view of the instruments and controls. On the right of the column is a stalk with turn indicator functions plus the headlight switches. On the left, another stalk controls the two-speed windscreen wipers with a washer button and an intermittent wiper setting. The practicality of Gemini design shows in little ways, like the placement of the anti-theft steering lock ignition switch, which is angled to face the driver. No groping for an out-of-sight keyhole. There's a hazard warning switch on top of the column where you can reach it quickly. The instrument panel has a slight wraparound effect and is designed to minimize glare. Within it are an adjustable air vent for the driver, a switch for the rear window demister, 
a temperature gauge, a speedometer with a separate trip meter, an analog clock, and a fuel gauge. There's a central master warning light that lets you know when something's wrong, and on the left, a panel of lights that specify the problem. They cover oil pressure, battery charge, brake failure, and parking brake indicator. This knob regulates the brightness of the instrument lights. The central heating, demisting and ventilation controls are illuminated to simplify nighttime operation. A comprehensive four-level system gives these separate functions. Cool air on the face, hot air on the feet with fresh air on the face, air to the feet only, and demisting of the glass. The powerful booster fan has four speeds. There are four adjustable vents across the dash. One is at either end, with two in the middle. Additionally, there are two wide demist events for the windscreen. The push-button AM radio is within easy reach of either the driver or the front seat passenger, as is the cigarette lighter and pull-out ashtray. There's a lockable glove box and handy compartments for small items moulded into the centre console, fore and aft of the floor-mounted handbrake. The back doors have child-proof locks, so that by the switch of a small lever, you can prevent children from inadvertently opening the door. And talking of people opening things they shouldn't, there's an internal hood release, so that the engine compartment can be opened only from inside the cabin. Gemini SL, a car with a reputation for reliability and durability. Let's look at the mechanical features of the TG Gemini. The engine is an advanced design. Basic details are four cylinders, an overhead camshaft, an aluminium alloy cross-flow cylinder head, a capacity of 1.6 litres, power output of 49 kilowatts at 5,000 revolutions per minute, and a torque figure of 106 newton metres at 3,400 RPM. The size, 1.6 litres, is just about ideal for an inline four-cylinder engine. Much larger, and fours tend to become rough, which is why some designs are forced to use complex counter-rotating shafts to balance out the impulses and get the operation smooth. But around 1.6 litres, as on the Gemini and the Chimera, a well-designed four is super smooth. The power output of 49 kilowatts is a thing you can probably understand. It's a measure of the work that the motor performs. But the torque figure may be a little more difficult. Torque is a term to describe the twisting or tugging effort developed by the engine at the crankshaft. And it's a measure of a car's ability to climb up hills or slog its way through traffic. Now, with a torque figure of 106 newton meters at 3,400 revs per minute, the Gemini has a lot of lugging ability and it's developed at a speed at which most people are traveling, which means the Gemini overtakes very easily and yet is a nice car to trickle along at low speeds in traffic. The design features air injection. This is a type of exhaust emission control in which air, in precisely measured amounts, is pumped and then squirted through nozzles into the exhaust manifolds. The sudden addition of oxygen to the super hot exhaust gases causes the burning of any pollutants. And this allows Gemini engineers to tune the motor for maximum efficiency and economy. It is, however, more than just an economical and efficient engine. It is extremely rugged. The motor is built to last, which is one reason why Gemini has such an outstanding reputation for long life and low-cost operation. Talking of low-cost operation, the Australian Standards Fuel Test, the fuel consumption cycle test known as AS2077, shows that the Gemini, with the standard four-speed manual transmission, achieves a figure of 9.5 litres per 100 kilometres in the city and 7 litres per 100 kilometres on the highway. In terms which you might more readily understand, they correspond to nearly 30 miles to the gallon around town and 40.5 miles to the gallon on the highway. These figures have even more significance when you realise that Gemini runs on standard grade fuel. You'll notice a difference every time you call it the petrol pump. For SLX models only, there's the option of a diesel engine. Details are given at the end of this program. For the petrol models, power is transmitted to the rear wheel through a standard four-speed manual transmission, although a five-speed manual and three-speed automatic are optional. The manual gearboxes have new teeth cut to a finer pitch. 
This means that they're smoother and quieter in operation. The gear change is delightful. It's a real hot knife through butter job and movements from one gear to the next are light and precise. The brakes are discs at the front and drums at the rear wheels. They're power assisted for ease of operation. The brakes are cross-linked so that in the unlikely event of brake failure in one part of the system, you still have braking in the other part. And in this way, you can come to a stop safely and effectively. Another safety feature is that the aluminium master cylinder incorporates a brake proportioning valve. And this distributes braking effort according to the need. If you have to make a sudden stop, it sends most of the effort to the front wheels where the real braking requirement is rather than to the back wheels which are lightly laden under such circumstances and in this way you'll avoid skidding. Steering is by rack and pinion for precise control and not only is Gemini agile on the highways but it's easy to park due to its light and direct steering. It has a modest turning circle of 9.36 meters which means you can turn in one sweep in a street that's less than 10 metres wide. Naturally, Gemini comes with radial tuned suspension, a holding exclusive. What this means to the driver is safe, sure control on any sort of road surface. And to take full advantage of RTS, Gemini comes equipped as standard with steel belted radial ply tyres. Coil springs are used all round with telescopic double acting hydraulic shock absorbers and with RTS, the geometry, that is the way the suspension is put together, is set up so that when you brake hard, the nose doesn't dip, and when you accelerate, the tail doesn't squat down and the nose lift up, as happens with other cars. The body is tough and long-lasting. It is fashioned from a high-quality but lightweight electro-galvanized steel, which is subject to extensive anti-corrosion treatment. Inside, the dash panel, the floor and the centre console all have sound barriers to insulate the occupants from any mechanical noise. And a point worth remembering. Quality of Gemini is first class. It is produced at GMH's modern Acacia Ridge plant in Queensland, a plant which on several occasions has won awards for producing the finest cars at any GM plant around the world. The mechanical specification of the Gemini is modern and highly advanced, yet it's based on sound, well-proven engineering principles. It is a car that is supremely reliable, long-lasting, economical, comfortable, good-looking, and because of its great handling, a lot of fun to drive. So there we have it, the TG Series Gemini. A comfortable, economical, fine handling and stylish vehicle with an unrivaled reputation for reliability, low cost operation and long life. A great design, developed and refined into an even better buy for the owner who wants the best combination of economy, comfort and performance with practicality and style. And remember, it's a Holden, backed by your GMH dealer. To many people, the type of car they drive is more important than the size. It must have a certain character. And while an economy model of modest dimensions makes sense, it must have the features they've come to expect from a car. Features that reflect their taste and style of living. It must be a car which an owner should be proud to share with special friends and take to special places. Such a car is the Gemini SLX. It is an economy car with style. A four-door sedan that has high levels of trim and equipment and excellent on-the-road performance and yet comes with a pedigree for practicality, reliability and durability that its rivals cannot match. The SLX sedan, top of the range production model and excellent value for money, is a refined version of a car which has already proved itself in the service of tens of thousands of Australians. Here are its features. The grille is moulded in polycarbonate a material that is strong and corrosion resistant. It is stylish and practical, with the moulded slats shaped to provide the best airflow to the engine compartment. The quartz halogen headlamps have flush mounted lenses. Quartz halogen gives a brighter light, while the sloped glass gives better airflow over the vehicle's nose. That reduces drag, 
which in turn lessens noise and improves fuel economy. Here's a nice touch. The turn indicators are angled, so they can be seen by the people in vehicles alongside you. The front bumper is a moulded one-piece polypropylene design, highlighted by a chrome trim strip. It has a number of advantages over the old-fashioned chrome-plated steel bumper. It is much lighter, which helps improve handling and fuel consumption, and it resists low-speed impacts more effectively than a metal bumper, so it won't become scarred and tatty-looking if other cars nudge you in a parking lot. And, of course, it can't rust. Tucked away out of harm are the side lamps and forward turn indicators. Note how the bumpers wrap around to protect the corners of the body. There are distinctive SLX wheel covers. Not only good looking, but aerodynamic too, because their design, flush with the outer edge of the wheel, promotes smoother airflow. The radio has a secure lockdown antenna, and these extra deep full length body side mouldings protect the paintwork from minor chips and scrapes, as when doors of adjoining cars are open carelessly. The lift up door handles are flush with the body and easy to operate. At the back, the big protective bumper is of the same strong but light polypropylene. The tail lamps are divided into these segments, reversing light, brake indicator, reflector, tail lamp and turn indicator. Note how the tail light and brake light are separate, so they may be clearly distinguished from each other. The rear window has a demister. The boot is deep and shaped to hold plenty of luggage. It is fully carpeted. This hatch conceals the lockable fuel cap. Being placed so high, the filler doesn't spill fuel when you have a full tank. And it's easy to fill the tank quickly and with no fuss. The tank capacity is 52 litres, which is more than most cars for its class. That gives you a longer range between refills. The side view mirror is remote controlled. The mirror has a sports type hood, which is colour matched to the body finish. The four doors open wide, giving easy access to the interior. Tall people fit comfortably in this car. There's generous head and leg room, front and back. Sit in the driver's seat and you have a clear view of the road through the wide sweep of the windscreen. On the SLX model, the glass is laminated, so the screen won't shatter and affect your vision if struck by a stone. And the upper band is tinted to ease the glare of the setting sun on westward journeys. The trim is tasteful, with cord cloth upholstery. The front bucket seats are contoured and can be moved or tilted through a wide range of positions. They feature adjustable headrests. The retractable seat belts are lightweight, comfortable and easy to buckle. The centre mirror is a prismatic day or night design for glare-free nighttime driving and for when you can't quite shake that Ferrari with the bright lights off your tail. The loop pile carpet is made from hard-wearing synthetic. The padded four-spoke steering wheel is a distinctive feature of the SLX. It is comfortable to grip and provides the driver with a clear view of the instruments and controls. On the right of the steering column is a stalk with turn indicator functions and headlight switches. On the left, another stalk has controls for the two-speed windscreen wipers, intermittent wiper setting and washers. The practicality of Gemini design shows in subtle ways, like the placement of the anti-theft steering lock ignition switch, which is angled to face the driver. No groping for an out-of-sight keyhole. There's a hazard warning switch on top of the column where you can reach it quickly. The instrument panel has a slight wraparound effect and is designed to minimise glare. The panel's features are an adjustable air vent for the driver, a button to operate the rear window demister, and the main instrument panel, containing a speedometer with a separate trip meter, a tachometer or revolution counter, volt meter and temperature gauge, and an oil pressure gauge and fuel level indicator. There's a central master warning light that lets you know when something's wrong. And on the left, a panel of lights that specify the problem. They cover oil pressure, battery charge, brake failure, and parking brake indicator. This knob regulates the brightness of the instrument lights. There's a quartz digital clock, and a high quality AM, FM stereo radio cassette with auto reverse on the tape player. A pleasant feature that allows the tape to be played on both sides without you having to switch the cassette. The central heating, demisting and ventilating controls are illuminated to simplify nighttime operation. A comprehensive four-level system covers cool air on the face, hot air on the feet with fresh air on the face, air to the feet only, and demisting of the glass. The powerful booster fan has four speeds. There are four adjustable vents across the dash, one at either end with two in the middle. Additionally, two wide vents demist the windscreen. 
Like the ventilation system and radio tape player, a cigar lighter and pull-out ashtray are centrally mounted to be within easy reach of either the driver or the front seat passenger. The glove box is lockable. Below it is a parcel shelf. There's more space for small items in the handy compartments molded into the center console fore and aft of the floor-mounted handbrake. The back doors have child-proof locks so that by the switch of a small lever you can render inoperative the interior door handles to prevent little hands from inadvertently opening a door. And talking of people opening things they shouldn't, there's an internal hood release so that the engine compartment can be opened only from inside the cabin. Gemini SLX, a car for the best occasions. If your transport needs are as varied as your way of life, then the vehicle for you could be the versatile member of the Gemini family, the SL Wagon. It works with you during the week, helping you make money and saving dollars, and keeps on working when you and your family feel like playing or getting away from it all. It has the same looks and equipment as the SL Sedan, with the practicality and convenience of a station wagon. The Gemini features include Quartz halogen headlamps with flush-mounted wind-cheating lenses. Light but super strong polypropylene bumpers that don't show the marks of mild bumps and never rust. Distinctive SL wheel covers. A lockdown antenna for the radio. Full-length body side mouldings to save the paint from chips and scrapes. Flush-fitting, easy-to-operate lift-up door handles. A heated rear window. Fuel tank capacity of 52 litres more than most of its competitors, which gives the convenience of a longer range between refills. A driver's side mirror with a sports type hood, color matched to the body finish. Wide opening doors. Generous head and legroom, front and back. Contoured bucket seats in front. They can be moved or tilted through a wide range of positions and feature adjustable headrests. GMH's exclusive low fog vinyl upholstery. Soft and pleasant to touch, it doesn't emit vapours, like other vinyls, that leave fog on the inside of the cabin glass. A prismatic day or night central mirror. Comfortable steering wheel, whose open design gives the driver a clear view of the instruments. Speedometer, analog clock, temperature gauge and fuel gauge. All controls within finger reach, including the four-level heating, demisting and ventilating system with a four-speed booster fan. Push button AM radio, cigarette lighter and ashtray, all within easy reach of the driver or front seat passenger. Lockable glove box, trays for odds and ends on the central console fore and aft of the floor mounted handbrake, and an internal hood release, all in a good looking wagon. But achieving those good looks hasn't been at the expense of practicality. Look at the space in the back. The tailgate features a protective moulding, so you won't chip the paint if it runs into something on the way up. It opens wide and is supported by a gas-filled strut for smooth operation. And how about that for a low floor? Bumper height, flat and wide. No nasty shelves or ridges to lift over. There's a centre-mounted lamp, in case you get home late from the picnic and have to unload in the dark. And the tailgate can be opened from the inside. Just operate this catch, which is well protected from bumps and recessed to avoid damage to your load. The spare wheel is stored upright at the side and has a fitted vinyl cover. And with the back seat folded forward, you have a fully carpeted load space with a volume of 1,500 litres. So if you want the looks of a smart sedan, the load carrying capacity of a van, the economy of a small car, the ride of a large car, the handling of a Holden, and the reliability and durability of a Gemini, your vehicle is the SL Wagon. These options are available on all Gemini models. A five-speed manual transmission in which fifth gear is an overdrive for more economical cruising and an even lower rate of mechanical wear. The famous Trimatic three-speed automatic transmission. Cast alloy wheels, which not only add to a car's appearance, but save weight and improve the cooling of the brakes. Remote control side view mirrors, certainly an added safety feature, but an addition that also smartens the exterior of your Gemini. For the SLX sedan only, there are two exciting options. One is the fitting of a diesel engine, 
that gives the SLX a fuel economy figure, according to the official government test, of 7 litres per 100 kilometres for city use. That's marginally better than 40 miles per gallon. And 5 litres per 100 kilometres on the highway, or 56.6 miles per gallon. The diesel is a 1.8 litre four-cylinder unit. It develops 40 kilowatts at 5,000 reps per minute, 10 less than the petrol engine, but torque is almost the same at 105 newton meters, developed at the remarkably low figure of 2,000 RPM. This means that the Gemini diesel has great pulling power at low engine speeds, a characteristic that helps give it such excellent fuel economy. Changes to the diesel for this latest model include an ultra-quick start device, so that there's none of the normal diesel delay between turning the key and starting the motor and a transmission backlash eliminator. In other words, the car is even more vibration-free and pleasant to drive. And how's this for stunning variation on the SLX? This is the Gemini Double ZZ. It's a car for the person who likes driving and wants the world to know. It's bright, bold, and just a little bit daring, but as much in place behind the pit area at a Grand Prix as in the parking lot of your favorite restaurant. Starting at the front, the double ZZ has silver tone molded bumpers with black rubber inserts. There's super strong, super light polypropylene, so they can take a knock. There's an air dam to divert unwanted air from beneath the car where it could cause excessive turbulence and lift. Black fender wind splits. They're to control the airflow across the nose of the car. They guide the stream of fast moving air over the top of the Gemini and prevent turbulent air tumbling over the sides and causing drag. Helps with vehicle stability and with saving fuel too. In case your friends hadn't heard you were getting a new car, the white wheels should soon give them the message. They're specially painted cast alloy. They're effective dissipators of heat. In other words, they help keep the brakes cool and more efficient. And they're lighter than steel wheels, which aids road holding and fuel economy. Strong too, not just a set of pretty white faces. The mud flaps are silver toned. The rocker panel molding is black. There's a bold double ZZ logo. Black door handles and side window reveals an additional side mirror for the passenger. At the back, a rear deck spoiler, color matched of course, which smooths the airflow across the tail to negate lift and promote positive safe traction at the rear wheels. Inside, the trim maintains the theme of the double ZZ of being bold yet in good taste. Diagonal striped tweed cloth is used for the seats and door trim. Mechanically, the double ZZ is built to SLX specification, although the five-speed manual transmission is standard. So there we have it, the TG series Gemini. A comfortable, economical, fine handling and stylish vehicle with an unrivaled reputation for reliability, low cost operation and long life. A great design, developed and refined into an even better buy for the owner who wants the best combination of economy, comfort and performance with practicality and style. And remember, it's a Holden, backed by your GMH dealer.